Welcome to Gel Printing July. So today I, I don't have a lot of time, but I do want to try something uh, out that uh, I want to see if I can get it to work. So um, and that is that I want to work with this stencil and then see if I can make the lower half of the of the print a bit more solid and the top half a bit more yeah broken open um, that's a term that I used also in the very first video of gel printing July and that's where yeah the paint is going to uh, well uh, react due to water and uh, can create interesting and cool effects. So I want to see if I, I can combine those two um, properties, uh, staying solid and, and breaking open. And we'll see. <laughs> As I said, I don't have a lot of time, so I will just uh, use a few different uh, colors that I love a lot. I always get it on my fingers, of course. So I mix this paint myself and I will list the paints that I used. I will list those in the description. And then I have this paint, which I also pre-mixed. And I like this color as well. Let's use a little bit of this violet. Oh, I said a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'll just mix in a little bit here as well and what should I do I think I want to use a little bit of this amethyst this is um, um, Blick matte acrylics and then I love my purple matter color as well so I'm going to use that okay, okay. we'll see what we'll get <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to place this a bit lower on my gel plate Something like this. And roll this off a little bit. This looks like some thicker paint, I'm not sure. Oh, now I'm removing everything. I did not want that. Let's just play with my water. And perhaps this has been drying too long already. Here it is moving, but... <laughs> I'm now adding a lot of water. I can maybe help it a little bit here. I always love this effect of uh, the paint beading up. Let's see what this looks like here at the bottom. Oh. Did it do anything? Yeah, I do think I see a little bit of the pattern, but maybe I can do a bit more here as well. Oh yeah, oh, I'm liking that. Only here it is, uh, I guess it was already dry. But other than that, I, yeah, I, I really did get that look, uh, what I was uh, <laughs> trying to get, where here it's more solid and then here it's more broken open. 
only here the edge is a bit thick let's see although that also gives a nice effect because it gives a bit of a, a border so perhaps oh, I'm not going to remove everything yeah so uh, I'll let this dry and then uh, prepare everything for the print okay I think it's dry enough yeah I should have left it to dry just a little bit longer yeah I'm a bit in a hurry today but um, yeah let's uh, get that print ready okay so this needs to dry and then uh, we can uh, pull the print and see what it looks like so let's see. Really interesting. I really like this uh, combination of effects where, yeah, as I said, here it is more solid and here it is broken open. Now I think I would have preferred this to be a bit more gradual. So I don't, I, yeah, I want it to be a bit more gradual and now it is more two halves. And if I had more time today, I would definitely experiment with that a bit further and play with that more. So that may be something uh, for you to find out, to see how that could work. And also definitely for me to, uh, yeah, to, to play with that a bit more on another day. I'm really loving this color combination. So uh, be prepared to see that <laughs> back as well in gel printing July. So that's the video for today. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching it and maybe you are inspired to try this out for yourself. If you are, uh, you're very welcome to uh, post the, the results of your uh, work in my Facebook group because I'd love to see it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more of uh, these fun videos. And uh, a big thank you to all my patrons, because uh, this is only possible thanks to you all. And then uh, I hope to see you back tomorrow for a new video.